chapter number 5 separation of substances here what is the meaning of the heading separation of substances so uh, when your mother stored the wet or any other pulses so first she did that uh, uh, she removed the stones or other solid impurities from the wit and then after she will store in a container as you can see in this picture one man is there and he is separating the solid impurities from the wit and here some picture of kettle and beaker so here is also some evaporation and condensation process is there to separate the impurities from the water so there are so many separation process uh, that we will learn in this chapter so let's learn about it in our daily life there are many instances instances it means uh, examples of occurrence instances means examples of occurrence when we notice a substance being separated from a mixture of materials it means in our day-to-day -day life uh, so many activities or uh, examples of uh, occurrence is there uh, we are not observe carefully that but we are separating the substance from the mixture of material in our day-to-day -day life also example for tea leaves are separated from the liquid with a strainer while preparing tea as you can see in this picture while we are making a tea we are separate the tea leaves with the help of strainer so the tea liquid in a form of liquid a tea will comes out from the strainer into the cup and the tea leaves will remain in a strainer so this is called the separation process so here we separating the tea leaves with a strainer with the use of strainer now grain is separated from a stock here the word meaning of stock is stem stem part of the plant or trunk part of the plant we called as a stock so when we grain when the grain is separated from stalks while it is harvesting milk or curd is churned to separate the butter so as we learned in the chapter number three a ginning process is there so what do you mean by ginning process to separate the cotton fiber from the cotton plant this process is called the ginning process and this ginning process is also done by our hand also by combing the cotton fiber so this is the ginning process which is done by our hand and there is also machines to do the ginning process so this all the three things having a separation process so when we separate the grain from the stalk there is also having a separation process when we make a butter as you can see in this picture when we make a butter we have to churn the buttermilk or curd so we get a butter so this is also called the separation process and in ginning process to make a cotton fabric to get a cotton fab uh, fiber we have to separate the cotton fiber from the cotton plant so these all are the process we call the separation process uh, in earlier times humans in earlier times humans uh, use this type of container uh, to make a butter from the buttermilk or curd nowadays we have a grinder to get a butter from the buttermilk or curd perhaps you might have eaten salted dalia or poha if you found that it had chilies in it you may have carefully taken them out before eating as you can see in this picture you might eat the poha and whatever the things you don't like you will first of all taken out them and after you will eat that so here if uh, some chilies are there in poha so what will you do you will taken them out before eating the poha and if you like the nuts and if you like the nuts so you will taken out them and first you will eat the nuts so this process is also you are doing the 
separation process. Suppose you are given a basket containing a mangoes and guavas and so many other fruits or vegetables and you get a task to separate them. So what you will you do? What will you do? You will pick out one kind of fruits or vegetables and place them in a separate container or separate basket. Okay. As you can see in this picture, there are so many fruits uh, are there in a one basket. So you will get a task to separate them. So what will you do? You will uh, take, pick out a uh, uh, grabs and you will put it in a, an, another place and you will pick out the bananas, apples and uh, kiwis. So many vegetables or fruits are there. So you will pick out same kind of fruits or vegetables and you will place it in a separate place or separate basket or separate container. So this process you are doing is called the separation process. But here the substances are have a big size. So you can easily separate the objects or separate the substance. It is convenient for you to separate the objects. But if the objects or if the substance is having a small size like this. If you get a task to separate the salt from the sand. If you get a task to separate the salt from the sand. So it is impossible to separate the salt from the sand by hand.